So what should you expect at Cebu Airport? Um, I've been through it many, many times. Um, up to three, four times in a year sometimes. The fact is, going into the country, people are not going to bother you. 2007, I got the uh, guitar people giving the, giving the old local songs as you go up from the plane. Haven't seen that since. <laughs> It was quite nice though because it was just like oh I wasn't expecting that probably because people assume it's for the airport but I think you actually have to give them money um, so I probably got fed up because nobody paid them but anyway once you get into the airport you just follow it through and you'll get to an immigration setup where basically if you go straight ahead you, you'll see it when you because everyone gets funneled there there'll be a wall then it goes right and then it's just rows and rows of people probably about eight to ten desks if you go left here's a handy tip for a traveler keep a toothbrush keep a razor handy if you can get it in your international luggage these days um, and oh get an electric razor because that's what I normally have in my bag actually go left there's a little bathroom have a shave, have a brush your teeth, tidy yourself up. On a long haul flight, you look like crap. I normally look like a homeless person, which is why I make so much effort. <laughs> because I've come off flights before and people are looking at me as if I'm like, look at this like bum or whatever. Because they, that's been the short haul bit. They forget the 13 hours I'd flown earlier <laughs> where I've gone off one flight. I just like sat in the airport, gone to sleep for a bit, woke up got onto the next plane and off I went so uh, yeah tidy yourself up you want to be presentable take a second t-shirt you don't have to take two pairs of jeans or whatever just take another t-shirt swap them over because you will sweat you will get stinky on the plane you will dribble when you're asleep <laughs> just take a fresh shirt just keep it in your your uh, your backpack or whatever and just swap them over so when you cut you know before you go through immigration, you've got a new shirt, cleanly shaven, breath that smells like mint instead of the dog, and you wander up to immigration. Two things here. If you're a 13A resident holder, I've actually got my card here for a change. Um, I can go in the OFW queue. So when you're queuing up, I just jump all the queue because I go at the furthest queue from where you've come in and I'm out the door in about two minutes. Everybody else has to queue. So you're going in, you get to the, you, you know, it's queuing, just going forward, going forward, going forward, and they're like, okay, this is my old passport. I'll just show you what I normally do. Is I always have my passport ready with a photo open because I do that and then there's a little green piece of paper they'll give you which says where you're going to stay and you haven't got 50 kilos of drugs in your bag etc and you turn around and give that to them and was there I think there's another piece of paper somewhere anyway you give the one guy the piece of paper but he's just going to look at that and you'll get these stamps I've actually got some in this one uh september there you go red one entered green one exit i've actually got one there for the us as well in the middle um but the fact is those are the ones you're looking for i've got all sorts in here i've got because the thing is i've got multiple types of it can you see i travel a lot <laughs> I've got pages and pages of steps. Um, but the point is, they will stamp it and they will just let you through. Just behind where they are, you collect your bags. Grab your bags and then there's another desk on your left hand side. Because you come through, like I said, come through the airport, desks are on your right, gone through the immigration, straight in front of you is now the baggage collection to your left 
is the um, guys that deal with your baggage. I've never had anybody search my bags in, well, eight years. The, what they're after is that little bit of paper, which is why you just need a bit of paper. They ain't going to look for your passport. They just want your paper, and off you go. Shh, shh, doors open, and here is a bit of advice. In front of you, as you go out, there's going to be lovely women go, Hi sir, do you want me to get you a taxi? Blah, blah, blah. And I know somebody said in Manila that they got charged 300 pesos for somebody going and then just take them to a taxi. You'll then get a taxi driver going, Ah, oh, it's a thousand pesos, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. They're a pain in the backside. Here's a bit of advice. Go straight across the road because there, there's a metal barrier with a gate in it they'll let you go through the gate cross the road at pedestrian crossing go through the other gate and then there's a ramp that goes off to your right go up the ramp follow it to the left and then come out the front because that's the arrivals uh, the departures you can get a taxi there and those taxis want to go back to where they came from so if you can find a Ken's taxi if you're like me living in the south Ken's taxi is from the south so they're quite happy to take you back to where they want to go um, as such you can get the right rate how much does it cost to get to Minglanelia now I have no idea I, I know the rate I used to pay was 350 then it was like 400 and today I have no idea but I do know that when I was paying 300 somebody was paying a thousand so this is why you go meter line. You know, it's just put the meter on. And they'll argue with you and you go like, okay, they got 600. And you go, 350, 400. Okay. Because <laughs> when you come to a reasonable price, they'll just go at any, go anyway. But like I said, just be aware that, because this is my uh, little notice here saying, uh, I'm not taking responsibility if you get caught. If the lights are off and you're in the, um, they're saying that they have no passengers, and you're in the car, you're actually breaking the law because because the wheels are turning, the meter is supposed to be clocking up the tax as well as the revenue. If it's not turning, it's not clocking up tax. That's why you can get fined, you and the taxi driver. So I did tell you, but how often does that happen? I've never seen it happen. How often do I pay off the meter? Depends on the journey. I don't really make it an issue. Um, but most of the drivers I know will quite happily do it on the meter anyway because I know what the meter prices are. So when, I'm, when they're haggling with me, it's close to what I'd have paid anyway. And even if it's 30 pesos less, I'll then give them the 30 pesos in the tip. So even if they're trying to haggle it up a little bit, they will still get it because I say thanks very much for not bothering me but I've had a long flight and just want a nap while I'm on the, on route to the uh, my, my house. So that's what to expect at Cebu Airport. But that like says, no headaches. Now, when the doors go, shh, like I said earlier, and you've got somebody you meet for the first time, you'll get the taxi people on this side, just right in front of you, as the door open, right in front of you. Then there's the barrier, which does open. Then there's a pedestrian crossing area and there's another door that bit there not a door um, another barrier with a door in it that area there is where you will find the people meeting you they don't let them all pile in at the airport they keep them over there um, I remember when I first met April there there must have been a thousand people <laughs> but I still recognize as soon as you walk past I'm like that's April you know it's like, you know in a huge crowd I recognize her instantly but that's what to expect. You won't have too many headaches in Cebu, to be honest. It's pretty laid back. It's, it's not a busy city. Um, the only headaches are trying to shut the taxi driver up, get the price right. If they won't give you the right price, go to the next taxi. They'll soon come, no, 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 no. And then they'll either do the right price or go in the other taxi. All right, thanks for watching.